What's up, Blue Chips? It's Tim here at Volatility Trading. And today we're going to start a new series where we talk about general trading tips. Now, this is going to be just a series on the weekend. I'm going to just do one video. It's either going to be on Saturday or Sunday. It could even be on a Monday since today we had a holiday. So today we're going to start it off by talking about consistency and how it fosters profits. So let's get to it. All right, traders, so I really want to start this off with the main point. The main point of consistency is repeatedly applying the same tactics to the same setups and opportunities. Now, each one of these videos is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. So I just want to make sure that I get the main point across right away. Consistency is repeatedly applying the same tactics to the same setups and opportunities. So what do I mean by that? If you have watched me on the channel, you'll know that I trade pretty much the same setups over and over again. I look for intense moves one way or the other. It could be going up, it could be going down. If it's going up, I'm gonna to look to short it. If it's going down, I'm gonna to look to go long. So I'm looking for extended moves away from either previous resistance or previous support, and that's my setup. Your setup can be different, you can have that's the beauty of the stock market. Everyone can have a different setup that makes money. But what it really comes down to is consistency. Consistency and trading the same setup every single time. Which leads me to my next point that we're striving to eliminate all random trades. If you start throwing in random trades, you're going to get random results and it's going to completely start to kind of mess with you, mess with your head, mess with your overall strategy that you were implementing in the first place. It's gonna mess with your sample size. It's gonna mess with just everything. So strive to eliminate those random trades. So to end this a little bit, we're gonna talk about how you should be objective, keep your emotions in check, be disciplined, accept responsibility, and what I think to be the most important, own your trades. If you make a bad trade, and you start blaming other things. Uh, say I'm in the live stream. If I were to just blame the live, I, I was focusing on the live stream. Uh, if my kids, you guys know I have kids, uh, if they're running around a muck and I enter a trade and I feel like I play it bad because you know the kids were forcing me, I should have never took the trade in the first place, right? That would be me owning the trade. Uh, not paying attention to the stream while I wanna trade, um, while I'm in a trade, that would be owning the trade. Realizing that I didn't cut at a certain point uh, in the past was a huge issue with me. That would be owning my trade. Going back and reviewing your trades and realizing that you and only you are the reason that you made that trade will help you learn to become more consistent. So what I want you to do is take that one setup that you know is profitable. You've traded it for a long time, you have a large sample size, and you know that if you can consistently find that setup over and over again, it's going to work and be profitable. Learn how to take that same setup, use the same tactics on that setup, eliminate all the random trades, be very objective, keep your emotions in check, be disciplined, accept the responsibility of the trade, and to make sure at the end of the day, you always own your trade. That's all I have for you today. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. You know I always appreciate that support. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And if you want, you could always stop by tomorrow morning's live stream. I'll catch you then. Peace.